January 2021. Hi Libra, I'm here to do your January 2021 monthly reading. Um, hi Libra, I'm here to do your January 2021 monthly reading. If you are tuning into this and it is not January 2021, just take what resonates. If the message found you later, it still resonates because these are timeless readings. Just a quick announcement. I have opened up my 28 day manifestation challenge that will be starting on the third. You will get the opportunity to work one on one with me and I will be working with you throughout the month, helping you kickstart 2021 off on the right foot getting in that high vibration and helping you achieve your manifestation goals, removing blockages. Uh, it is being offered at a special price from now until December 31st. So if you sign up uh, before then, it's actually cheaper than what it costs to book like a one-on-one -on -one session with me. So I feel like given that I will be working one-on-one -on -one with people throughout the month, doing live stream events, helping you manifest with the moon, um, and, and kind of being a support there throughout the month. It's really at a great value. So I hope to see some of you in that container. I'm only opening it to 30 people because I want to be able to create the energy, create the space to really get you where you need to be in 2021. So hope to see some of you there. As always, I still have my Patreon in which I am uploading bonus content along with the extended reading. So if you are subscribed to my Vimeo, make sure to check that out because for just about the same price, you're going to be getting so much more content along with discount codes for booking personal readings with me or just booking um, courses. You'd get a discount code on the 28 day manifestation challenge along with all the extra content. Um, there's a tier system, so be sure to check it out. I'm going to link everything below. Anyways, let's get into the reading. All right, so the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Girls Need Love, Summer Walker and Drake. Um, <coughs> interesting song, obviously for my females, um, you know, this might resonate, but even for the men, the kind of the vibe of the song is basically like, I just need some love. I'm tired of like, I'm tired of the one-offs, you know? Um, it is a more like mm, sexual song probably of her. You can go listen to the lyrics. I'm gonna try and keep this PG-13 at least. Um, but the, the, the vibe of it is like there there's like um I'm just trying to stay focused like I think I think the energy I'm getting is like maybe in January 2021 you're looking for something more uh with an energy of love you know so let's pull some advice some oracle for January 2021 be open to love okay well in order to call in love you got to be open to it Choose friends wisely. Interesting. So maybe your friends aren't supporting your relationships or you to find that that you're looking for. Let's get one more, please. Speak up. So you might have to communicate more. You might have to be more open and honest about your feelings, about what you want. So that's interesting. Let's pull some of these Moonology cards for January 2021 for Libra. Communication is key. So <laughs> new moon and Gemini communicating, speaking on those feelings, telling people what you want. Take time to breathe out disseminating moon. So yeah, there's this need to kind of just allow to like release and allow. Okay, one more. Luck is on your side. I did when I was doing the premeditation shuffle. Um, the wheel of fortune did come out so that is like a very like fortune is in your favor luck is on your side right now with that new moon in sagittarius so it's like uh maybe put yourself in situations where you are in the ability to meet people or communicate your feelings and emotions because you might be surprised with how it turns out so let's take a look at the bottom of the deck here 
for you guys. We have the Nine of Wands. So it's kind of pushing, giving yourself that extra push forward even when you feel, you know, like you've been hurt, like you've been jaded in the past, but it's kind of giving yourself that little push forward because luck is currently, the universe is currently working in your favor. So let's see, overall energy here for you in January 2021, we have the Ace of Wands, okay. So if you've heard that song before, and you are a female watching this, uh, like a straight female, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you, you know, you can deduce what this Ace of Wands is doing here. Um, because there's a line where she says, I just need some blank. Um, and look, there it is. There it is. Sorry to all my uppity people who are like, oh my God, that's so inappropriate. Um, but there it is. If that's what you've been asking for, Libra, that's what you're going to get. Um, but for my non-females or my non, um, you know, I feel like there's just going to be new passions in January. Let's put it that way. Like, you might be getting physical with somebody. All right, Ace of Wands, tell me. Tell me what's what's going on here. Haha, <laughs> the Tower card and the Two of Wands. So this is really interesting because the Ace moves to the Two, but there is this kind of collapse here. It's almost like in order to take something from one to the two, like there has to be a collapse of a pre-existing structure, uh, which is interesting because it might mean that if you are entering this like kind of relationship that has been purely physical, it might move forward, but before it moves forward, there's this collapse. Um, there has to be a collapse in what is the current structure, you know? Um, or that's like, that could be the friendships ending, like in order for you to get from one to the two, something has to collapse here. Six of Cups. Six of Cups, that card's been coming up quite a lot. This can just talk about nostalgia from the past. It makes sense to me because we are in that period in which we are looking back on the last year. So I, I'm not I'm not going to try and fit the narrative of like past person reconciliation, but it could be but it is more so like nostalgia looking back on the year behind us probably three of pentacles and the four of swords. So yeah, this is like meditative you're trying to build here. But it's kind of looking back, looking back fondly at maybe certain situations in your life or even looking back at past relationships and kind of picking and choosing like what it is that you liked about those relationships. What are the feelings surrounding that that you're wanting to reconnect or build upon there and meditating on that. So it is this kind of analysis of the past, but you're using it as an attempt to kind of further build your present. So let's see, what is the Six of Pentacles doing here? Six of Pentacles, King of Swords. Yeah, getting clear, getting clear on this energy. This could also be somebody you have this very childlike, innocent connection with that, you know, you need to speak up about or you're getting really clear on how you feel about this person. If it's been childlike and innocent, like I said, that ace of wands there, um, it might evolve into something else, but what's gotta come crumbling down is the innocence of that connection, you know? Or the, the, the childishness of this connection. So, Libra, I'll let you, I'll let you figure that one out. All right, four of swords, we have the nine of wands. Yeah, this is like something you've been thinking on for a long time, but there's like this need to kind of push yourself forward. Um, but there's kind of this fear, there's this fear, but it's been like long time meditation, like maybe you've had your guard up, but you're ready to let your guard down and, you know, make, make a move, make a move here. All right, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, also talking about commitment, taking something to the next level, engaging in that higher 
level of commitment eight of swords and the ten of cups so the what's plaguing this is this indecisiveness but there is this energy of like commitment longevity emotional fulfillment happy life happy family with that ten of cups and that hierophant what's the hierophant doing here what is the Hierophant doing here? The Seven of Cups. It's like seeing all these options. Um, <clears throat> you know, part of you might not want to make a commitment right now. Or like what's keeping you from making a commitment is like this feeling of having options. Like, oh, but there's still so much. Like there's this kind of daydreaminess of like everything that's available to you. Um... Like you're not, you might not be ready to shut the door on all of these things that might be available to you. Not saying that there are things available to you, but it's like the potential of that, um, which is like very Libra energy, I feel like. It's like not wanting to make a decision until you have the best option in front of you. Um, but you might be realizing now that the best option is in front of you. You've been thinking about it at least. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups here. What's the Ten of Cups doing here? Three of Swords. Okay, that was... That's gone here quickly. Um, so it's interesting because we have like... I feel like the, the issue here and it's between like... If there is somebody significant here that you are dealing with... You're both kind of plagued by the same issue. It's like... Well, this could turn out really good or it could turn out really bad. And it's like you are the same. It's like this could turn out really good, but I could shut myself off to other like options. And this person's like, oh, this could turn out like happy, emotional fulfillment, or I could end up heartbroken. And this person might have a lot of like jadedness from the past that kind of keeps them stuck. Um, but this could be your energy too. Like, okay, if there's two, so there's two ways that this could play out. Um, the star card, wish fulfillment, healing, uh, a queen of swords, and the ace of swords. So some kind of truth is going to come out. <clears throat> Whether that's in terms of being like mental clarity or <laughs> somebody's communicating the truth. But th this is like um, the truth will be communicated. Aquarius energy. What is this star card doing here? The page of wands. So again, with like the, the, the energy of that, like this could be a message that comes in that late night text, perhaps. Um, what you up to you up text. That's like that you up text. Um, like I said, this could start as something casual. But then, you know, there's that it kind of moves some kind of connection into a gray area here. So let's see. And that's where it's like the need to speak up or the need to communicate because um, when it's in that gray area, it might just, you know, that's when that indecision kind of kicks in. Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords doing here? Oh, the hanged man. Gaining clarity, enlightenment, communicating some kind of truth or getting clear. Um, something's communicated here. But again, it's like this term of needing to gain enlightenment. So it's like something kind of takes place here that breaks down some kind of situation but it's breaking it down in order for you to make a decision on how to move forward because it's almost like there's something that comes in for you and it could be you kind of um exploring some kind of connection on a physical level but then there's this like take time to breathe out like there's this a uh, period that comes after it of like analysis or trying to decide how to move forward or kind of needing to take space, which is interesting. Um, communication is key, like really being open and honest and allowing yourself to communicate because I feel like there's something, something that goes down that you're going to immediately want to pull your energy back or kind of 
think you're gonna want to think you're gonna want to meditate on it you're gonna want to think about it um so again this could be kind of like you know have to do with the connection or a connection that is evolving for you um deciding how you want to build upon this in the future uh there is opportunity for you know long-term love but is that what you want it's about like it, whatever this situation is that's happening for you it's going to force you to get really clear on how you're going to be moving forward um but the reminder is to be open to love so this could be a situation that could potentially bring a lot of love into your life if you are open to it um so that's what i'm seeing here for you guys i'm going to pull these two heart to heart messages then i'm going to move into the extended where we will look deeper into this situation we're going to pull some archetype cards to see the more um specific energies of either this person or the energies you will be embodying in january 2021 we're going to pull some more from the tarot some more messages and we will tap into the sexual tarot because it seems like this has this reading has a very sexual vibe to it so let's get two heart to heart messages please i dream about you so somebody's having dreams about you libra and we belong together okay so i feel like there's this underlying feeling here that you have with somebody and that i dream with you and the <coughs> six of cups um and the seven of cups that's like a very dreamy energy too um so very interesting i feel like there is some kind of thing that is going to be reaching a climax here let's put it that way um so you guys will have to comment and let me know what's going on but if you're interested in that extended click the link below and i will see you guys over there bye <laughs>